Essentially, the project started in 2020, and it was about uh, replacing the existing cutting facility with a modern cutting facility. The old machines were at end of life. You know, we were seriously struggling with componentry, finding componentry and keeping them running. It had been going on for several years, so uh, there was some urgency to try and get the project um, up and running as soon as possible. Being a uh, process engineer on this project, a big part of it was um, designing the gas services equipment. So we use oxygen, natural gas, argon, nitrogen and compressed air and that feeds into the new cutting machines that we've installed. And so a big part of that was just choosing the equipment, a lot of which you can see on this board over here, um, to make sure that our gases are regulated and they're going in at the right pressures that the machine needs to do the right cutting. So the essential part of this process is actually trimming the plates to the final specifications required by, that, by our customers. We have worked with some pretty old equipment here for a while and it's required substantial manual intervention. It involved people climbing up onto the bed and onto the plates to measure them manually with a tape measure. We've increased the capability of the machines by introducing plasma. The current machines were just oxygen cutting. Plasma's on average about five times faster than oxy. The cutting speeds, the programming, uh, how we traditionally did things is uh, going to be changed quite significantly. The standard that we'll have in terms of cut quality and performance will be significantly improved and dimensional accuracy will be significantly improved. So our end customers are going to see a better result from our product. I think the thing that we're most proud of uh, in our team is is the collaboration that's occurred between the project execution team, the contractors and our operations and maintenance teams. We've implemented a number of different controls that engages our workforce with the project team so that those interactions can be well managed, that there's good communication between the two teams. We've introduced a slag handling management system. The current process that we use is, is a shovel and a broom. They were sweeping and shoveling quite heavy loads in a and in an environment which is not good to stand on. Um, so it was a real challenge and we had a number of manual handling related injuries associated with that type of work. With this system there's no manual handling at all. It all falls to the floor. A great big uh, blade pushes it all the way to a uh, to a bin at the end of the table and, and uh, so that we've eliminated all that manual handling altogether. We'd cut samples and have to lift those with heavy magnets and uh, pull them off the bed, put them onto a trolley and drag them around and then write on them with chalk once they're cool enough to handle. With the new process we've got a, an automatic magnet tool on the, on the machine that goes and picks the sample up and transports it to the table so there's no manual handling of those samples. The samples are all etched with plasma so there's no mistakes in terms of you know an operator writing the, the wrong sample type on there and, and getting it to the lab. The project team have been doing some really good work around commissioning at the moment. The middle of May we expect to have it operational and we'll be training our operators in the lead up to and, and after that date there'll still be some training to go on. At the moment I'm in the process of learning the machine so I can write the procedures for the operators. Yeah. Um, so yeah, learning every day. Definitely looking forward to less manual handling and um, faster operating machines. This is actually the first really big project I've ever done at the plate mill and so I've learned so much because of it. This represents a significant step forward for us to, to have technology engaged in our work and to have the business invest eight and a half million dollars in the work that we do, it makes people feel pretty good. <laughs>